Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to Reversal. Logan Sama here, and as you can see, we're at EVO. 11,000 players have signed up to compete to find out who is the strongest in their game, but we don't care about that right now because we are about to do a drip check. That's right, we're going to hit the floor and we're going to find out who turned up correct in our outfits this EVO. Okay, so I spotted this guy straight away and it is a beautifully put together piece of haute couture. The jacket Saint Laurent, yep. the Balenciaga sock runners for comfort, of course. How important is it for you to pair comfort with style? This is my second EVO, so the first EVO I went to, it was all style for me. But uh, being on your feet for like, what, three, four hours at a time, waiting for your pools to start, I decided to make the switch to, you know, a little something more, a little more comfortable, but still gotta be a little bit faster. What else have you brought with you uh, for the rest of the day? It's obviously a three-day event, and I know you're not gonna be wearing the same thing every day. I have other outfits, same, oh, my pants, Alex. My, uh, Matthew Williams, I have another Matthew Williams outfit for, you know, Saturday, but I don't expect to make it that far in the pool, so I kind of pared down the comfort bit for the next few updates. I respect that. Can we get a look at the jacket, please? Uh, the, the back is beautiful. The detailing on that as well, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. The trouser tailoring, sensational. I have to say as well, the fitted trouser is not something that you're seeing as much I, these days. I do think that skinny jeans do betray my age. Uh, based on the current trends on TikTok, but uh, eventually it'll, it's all cyclical. Eventually it'll come back around. It's true, this, the, the bootcut jeans came back around, so... We were talking about second fits, my second one, a little baggier, a little more comfortable, and a little more breezier, but um, this is what I grew up with, so I can't, uh, I can't just abandon it for now. It's a beautiful outfit, you put it together incredibly well, and I really respect that on your second year at EVO, you, you know, you made the accommodations and realized that this is a hard as hell concrete floor and you are going to be in this room for a long time every day uh, and, and got the comfort in there as well. So thank you so much for talking to us. All right, so we're going to talk to, to Mano, who I spotted from uh, across the way. You've got a, a really interesting outfit with the trousers. Uh, talk us through the, the decision on these trousers because it's a very distinctive style you've gone for. Yeah, so uh, I kind of wanted to do something out of the norm, but went away from jeans. I like I like the exposed ankle, show a little bit more tattoo. You know, doing something a little bit different. You always want to show up and show out. You got to style on people in your combos and on the and in the in, in style. You know, that's what it's all about. I love the pinstripes as well. You know, like are you someone that likes a lot of pattern in your textiles? I do like patterns. I like to I like to have something that draws the eye. So uh, you know, it really it really pops, right? It gives you it gives you a different and also. You know, I go to an office, people see me day to day. I want to, you know, I want to make sure that they know that I'm switching it up and, and being creative. There's a lot of young people that are coming through in the FTC now as well, and we're both probably a bit more senior we in the community. The vintage, yeah. Exactly, exactly. You know, what do you think about the style of the, the young people at the moment? Is it something you can mess with? I mean, I always embrace the, the new styles. Uh, I like people to, to go out and like, you know, let their freak flag fly, show off who they're about. Um, and I think that, that more than any particular style, that's what I'm seeing from young people. They're really willing to like just do their own thing, especially when you're around when you look around. Um, you have old school metal bands, you have fighting game paraphernalia. Everybody's doing their own thing. Yep, you know, little throwback to MVC too. How much of a sneaker guy are you? Uh, so I am a sneakerhead through and through. I wore the Air Forces today because I knew I was going to be walking around. Back in the hotel, I've got a couple pairs of Jordans that I'm going to break out. You know, those are. You know, for when I really feel like putting it on. So when you're packing for Evo, do you do, do like the lineup of the footwear to work out what you're going to bring or? Pants and shoes. You match pants and shoes and then you go from there. What do you think about matching the color of the shoes to the shirt though? Because some people are very much against that. So either go for it or go completely against it. I think like either way completely works, but like just go in and make sure you're doing the thing. Be confident in your decision. Be confident in your decision. Rob. I, re I respect that. The drip's all about how you carry yourself and how you wear it, more so than exactly what it is you're wearing sometimes. Absolutely. Okay, we found someone else who's got a completely different look, and this uh, seems to be a lot more on trend right now. You've got the very loose-fitting pants. Uh, you've got beautiful color blocking as well. It's, it's in the same kind of tonality. Even got the flourish of green in the spectacles as well. Is this all like put together intentionally? Uh, yeah, definitely. So I'm a skateboarder too, so I have uh, you know always stick with streetwear, skateboarding fashion. It's kind of been my go-to. It's obviously comfortable. 
And I knew that it was going to be a little bit cold in here because of the AC, so I figured go with the pants, keep it comfortable, keep it cozy. I love that we're seeing people becoming, you know, more and more aware of what the actual environment is here at EVO because it's one thing of, you know, suffering for style, but we're in here a long time, you know. How many EVOs have you been to? Uh, this is actually my first one. Oh, amazing, so you stepped in straight away. Nice, nice. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Texas originally, but I've been in New York for five years. So. Obviously, like the rise in skateboard culture coming back round on trend. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Uh, honestly, the more people who skate and like can kind of elevate that as a culture, I'm always down for it. So same with FGC. Like any any time that anybody wants to get involved, I don't like to gatekeep. So just do it. Hundred percent. Well, you're up. So good luck. All right, you already know who this is, and he has got a beautiful new shirt on. By the way, congratulations on the sponsorship. Thank you. Thank you. But I came over to talk to you because you are wearing the greatest Nikes ever made. They're the, actually the greatest in my opinion. I think so. I truly believe that. Neon Yellow, Air Max 95s, a thing of beauty. These are the shoes that actually make me fall in love mm -hmm. with what I call trainers yeah. and you call sneakers. Yeah. Do you know what's funny? These are, I got these because they were my favorite childhood shoes. As a kid, these are my absolute favorite. I have them in the red ones. Those two were my favorite shoes as a kid and I decided I had to get them again. And you know, they match kind of with the jersey since it's green and it's neon yellow, but it's close enough, I feel like, you know? I, I feel like they're so good, they go with anything anyway. It doesn't matter. I agree, 100%. These I'll wear them with a red top. I don't care. <laughs> nah, I think you can wear it with anything, honestly. Like, they're literally the greatest shoe I think ever made in history. Well, so how old were you when you got these? As a kid, obviously. Uh, I was probably like 12, 13. Yeah, very young. So like just starting to really like have your own style and being able to. Yeah. Did you pick them yourself, by the way, when you went to the store? Oh uh, yeah, my mom always let, every year she would always let me pick a pair of shoes to go to school with, like at least three times in a year, like she would let us go to the store and pick whatever shoe we wanted. So these were a pair that I got and I loved them. And when I grew out of them, I was so sad and now, that I got, was able to get them again, I was, I don't know how happy I was when I bought them. I was like, yo, it's no way. I was so happy. When they re-released them a few years ago, I was like, nah, it's no way. They cheap too? <laughs> That's why I love, because obviously I've known you for a long time and you have got off-white shoes that cost thousands of dollars. High, high fashion shoes. And to see you so happy to own a pair. For me, this is what the, the sneaker game's about. Like stuff that makes us happy, not, brands that other people care about. Yeah, nah, I agree. Uh, I've been a real sneakerhead. You like not the hype beat stuff, really. You like the things that, like classics growing up. Like those are the shoes that really, I feel like are nice. And they just look really good. All the hype beat shoes, they kind of have a similarity to them and they're not very unique. So I think that the, the older shoes are 100% the best. The Jordan ones, the Nike Air Max. I can't disagree with that. Thanks for talking to me, man. No best problem, of luck this bro. weekend. And congratulations again. Okay, we had to stop Zoo here, who is working an incredible cherry <laughs> motif going on. Uh, I love the 97s as well, by the way. I'm a big Air Max fan. Thank you. Are you a big sneaker person? Yes. I love a good pair of Air Max. They're very comfortable. Amazing. Very stylish. Do you find like in the States, not many people are into Air Max or is it more now? No, um, I say people here kind of lean more towards Nike Dunks or the Air Force Ones. You see a few people with the 97s and the 98s, but not as much as it should be. As much as it should be, I like that, I like that. You said you've been playing games for a while. You used to play Strive a while back, but Tekken is what you play now. It wasn't Strive. Of course it wasn't Strive, well, but Guilty Gear. Oh, but I do apologize. It was, it was Guilty Gear for PlayStation 2. Yo! Yeah, it's been a while. Throwback! <laughs> uh, but you're on Tekken now. Uh, how are you getting on so far this week? Um, mm, eh, eh, could be better. Could okay. be worse. Uh, how many times have you been to Evo before? This is my second Evo. Okay, so when was your first? Last year. All right, great. So let's talk about what you learn in terms of your outfits and what clothing to bring from the last time you were at EVO? Uh, well, actually, last year I actually had on a pair of dunks. Five out of 10 comfort. This cement floor is not forgiving on dunks? No, but so far this is a lot better. Uh, the dunks are a little 
better for people with flat feet. If you have arch, these are a lot better. And outfit wise, I always go with just a tank top and a pair of shorts. That's as good as it's gonna get. I mean, you're working it fantastically. What's with the cherry motif? Is that something that means something to you or? Uh, no, last year I wanted the strawberry. So this year I decided to be a cherry. Hopefully we find you next year and we can work out which berry you come as. Uh, next year, maybe I'll be a watermelon. Watermelon. I like picking fruits that kind of, the colors complement me a little bit. Okay. So maybe a watermelon next year. Found someone else on the tech and setups and I love how this is put together. You obviously put a lot of effort in there, but it's not yeah, too yeah. like over the top in terms of the color blocking. I'm like, glad you, you think about it, I appreciate you. Yeah, I mean like, did, did you purposely avoid like too much yellow? A little bit, like I didn't want like to stand out too much. I'm just here for my friend, Platekin, you know. But like, here repping the Padres in San uh, Las Vegas, right? I'm at Las Vegas, Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, I love that the outfit comes together really well. But you're also repping the hometown as well. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're from San Diego, go Padres. But like, they're not doing too good this year. But it's whatever, you know. Like, I like the Jordans. Obviously, they're really, really staple go-to. Are you uh, much of a sneakers guy? Hell yeah, we uh, collect Jordan ones, and Dunks, uh, usually Dunk SBs. Okay, so you got some some pretty pricey rare gems in the story? Um, I would say my oldest, rarest one are probably some Tiffany's. I got some Tiffany's. Okay. So that's pretty like. Have you worn them? Yeah, I actually have worn them. I respect it. Wear your shit. Good shit, man. I, I like kind of regret it, but it's like, you know, you don't know when you're young. I, I've got a pair of Yeezy 2 Red Octobers, and I can't bring myself to take them out of the box. All right. I can't I, I can't wear it. I can't. You're a sneakerhead yourself. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, bro. Definitely. Like, for a long time. Okay, I spotted this guy uh, from the shoes, the Air Max 90s. Now, yeah. I'm a guy from the UK. We love Air Max. Yeah. Not so big in the States. Yeah. What brings you to, to, to the Air Max fold? I just love wearing shoes that have like very like diverse color schemes because I feel like you can just pair it with so many different outfits. So when I saw these, I knew I just had to have them because whatever you're wearing, right, you can probably find something to match with them. And yeah, that's what I try to do today. So I have to say as well, I really like what you've done because it's not over the top matching. You've seen what colors are in the shoe. Right. And you've just got little splashes little of them. Splash. You've got the blocked out shorts, which allow you to wear a contrasting tee. Yeah. And you've got the orange and the green just there. Like it's very subtle, really nicely put together. Do you put a lot of effort in putting your clothes together in this way? Uh, yeah, you know, ever since uh, I started dating my girlfriend, she's probably the most fashionable person I know. And she kind of just got me into you know, dressing myself a little bit more nicely. So. Shout out to girlfriends making us take more effort in dressing ourselves properly Absolutely. and actually paying attention to what goes together and not just what we like. Exactly, right? You gotta look fashionable, you gotta, you know, you gotta style a little bit for the one time, so yeah. Okay, uh, I had to run down Lacon from across the floor because this man looks luxurious. He looks like he's wearing a couple months salary and I have to respect it. I'm really happy to see man bags reach in America a lot more. Yeah, as well. Yeah, stylish, you know, nice accessory, pretty stylish. I like very, very useful, utilitarian. Exactly. I love the fit of the clothing as well, you know, like everything sits on you really well. Is that Polo? Oh, yeah, no. Ralph Lauren, Fear of God, McQueen's? Yeah, McQueen's, yep. Did you come to Evo knowing that you were going to do this to everybody? Do what to everyone? What do you mean? You know what you're doing. I mean, I'm, I'm just out here dressing, man, you know, I'm out Is this here. every day for you? Oh, kind of, yeah. What you brought with you here to EVO, like, did you... Honestly, not that much effort, because I was actually at DreamCon in Austin last week, and I just, like, packed everything I packed for there, like, over here. This is just how he dresses all the time. I respect it. Yeah. Lacon, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, all the best did you. What, what have you entered? Mortal Kombat, I'm out, though. How are you feeling about the new release? I'm excited for it, honestly. Mortal Kombat 1 is going to be hype. It's going to be hype. With the cameos and everything, yeah. What do you think they're going to do about, like, a tour? Because I can't see Warner Brothers letting Capcom have the biggest tour out there right now. You think you're going to get a big announcement? I don't think so. No? I don't think so. With NRS, I don't think so. You, know, you think you get the Warner Brothers NRS, they're going to beat that $2 million? You know, I think that's going to happen? No, hell no. With NRS, they're pretty cheap, honestly. But uh, in my opinion, but who knows? Who knows? And this is a man that knows about not being cheap, very clearly. <laughs> so I'm here with Marcus, who stood out from across the hall, did a very good job. I love this because there's little flourishes of color all over, but somehow it comes together. You've even, you've even managed to match it with the Evo Pass as well. How much effort did you put in to thinking up this, this outfit for today? 
So, actually, I thought about this earlier this week because I was like, okay, I want to make a big impression on when I come on the first day. And it's also helped my friends. Like, if I wear something very outlandish, they're like, you can see me across the way. I was like, oh, yeah, there he is with the pink shirt. And I make sure, I was like, if I throw the hat on, it's like, oh, there he is. And normally I was, I was going to go with pink shorts, but I couldn't find some. I was like, you know, I'm going to do white. And then my Hello Kitty shoes, pink and blue, go well together. So I was like, that's how it all came to be. And it just so happened, the badge, just, so just the badge just somehow worked with it. Talk us through the hat. Is the hat a staple or is it something you brought out especially for Evo? It's a hat my mom got me for my birthday last year and I never had a chance to wear it until now. I was like, I'm going to Vegas. I might as well put it on because I'm originally from uh, Arizona. So it's very hot and the sun is beaming down. I was like, yeah, sure, I'll throw the hat on. And my mom's like, oh, can you get a photo? I was like, yeah, I got you. So the hat definitely stands out. Why are you here to play? I'm here to play Street Fighter. And how are you getting on so far? Have you played yet? Uh, no, nope. my match is in 18 minutes. You feeling confident? I am. I actually am. I, I walked around, I sat on a couple matches, and I was like, I think I have a really good shot at this. Will I get out of pools? Who knows? I'm trying not to drown in pools, but I'm going to get there. If I got the belief, I'll say, my goal here is to beat one person. I'm like, you can be one person. I don't care what happens after that. What is it that you're going to be bringing out tomorrow? It looks similar to this, but it is kind of like a bright lime green. So my whole thing about going on the strip was like, hey, I want to make sure people can find me. Because if you notice, you look around, everyone's wearing a lot of dark colors, black, gray, white. And I was like, nah, that doesn't stand out. But wearing something more outlandish, people are going to notice you. Someone's like, oh, I recognize that guy. One of the things that I'm really loving about talking to people is they're fitting utility into their outfits. You know, you're saying, I want to make sure my friends can find me at all times. Because, damn, there's 11,000 players signed up. So that's very important. And of course, we're standing on these concrete floors yep. all day. What better choice than the original slip on shoe? We're not talking about any of these ultra boosts. We've gone all the way back to the presto. How important is it for you to have a very comfortable shoe on these convention floors? So I came here with a couple of friends and it's their first time. And I told them like, the main thing, you wanna have comfortable shoes. If you don't have comfortable shoes, it's gonna suck for you. I've seen someone in here walking in some big boots. I'm like, I know their feet is killing them. If you're not comfortable, you're not gonna play comfortably, right? And it's important to do that. Thank you so much for talking to us, Mark. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure. to meet you. Thank Take you. care and best of luck in the bracket.